Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 10th of December. I'm James Spann. Hey, the sun is back. Good to see. Still cold, though, and uh, still looks like we're going to have wet weather coming back as the weekend begins. Let's look out the window. Haven't seen the sun in so long. Thought we'd just take a look at what it looks like on a sunny afternoon. That's a view coming from Birmingham, looking north from the top of the Daniel Building. Over in East Alabama, that's the sky cam at Cheehaw State Park. And the Alabama Gulf Coast looks fine. And look at that. You'd be the only soul on that beach if you were there this afternoon. What a difference that camera uh, view can be in winter compared to summer. There's the big picture. The trough axis is finally east of here, pushing the moisture out. There's the uh, visible satellite view. We have gone clear statewide, but it's still cold. Only 39 at Coleman at mid-afternoon. Haleyville, 40. Uh, Birmingham, 42. A uh, good chance we'll see low to mid-50s tomorrow, but another surge of cold air comes down the pike on Thursday, dropping the highs back in the 40s. And around the nation, temperatures moderating a little bit. But still, if you really want warm weather, you have to go down to central or south Florida. And that's about the only place to find it. All those watches and mornings up in the northeast, those have uh, been canceled as the snow has ended there. And uh, basically the nation relatively quiet now. And the rain for the next five days. This is through the weekend through Sunday evening at 6 o'clock. And this is suggesting rain amounts of about one half to one inch. And that will be during the day Saturday. We'll check modeling, the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. Uh, I got a new uh, bit of troughing over the Great Lakes, and down below that, a new push of, push of colder air is coming down the pike. But for us, a good chance we'll see low to mid-50s tomorrow. We'll start the day in the mid-20s, and the sky will be bright and sunny. But on Thursday, thickness values are lower again. Uh, the NAM is printing a high of only 42 on uh, Thursday, the GFS is at 50. The truth is usual, probably somewhere in between. We'll expect mid-40s on Thursday. The sky will be sunny. Friday, once again, we'll start the day in the 20s, but a pretty good chance we'll see low to mid-50s on Friday afternoon with a good deal of sunshine. As we start the weekend, here's the next rainmaker. Nice trough axis approaching from the west, and we look wet. Uh, very consistent modeling here. Uh, uh, rain could begin after midnight Friday night. Rain likely through the day Saturday. The rain probably ending at some point Saturday afternoon. And uh, rain amounts of about one half to one inch are likely. Maybe some thunder, but there's no instability, so no severe weather problems. And then Sunday, that system is on by. The weather turns colder. Highs will drop into the 40s with a stiff north wind. That's going to be a messy situation up in the northeast. Uh, it's, it could be very snowy and cold for Boston and windy. That's a Pretty good-looking nor'easter with a dual low structure up there. Our, our friends in the northeast will have to deal with that over the weekend. But again, for us, just uh, uh, mostly sunny, windy, and colder on Sunday. Monday of next week will be a cold morning. We'll be well down in the 20s. The high Monday will be in the 40s. And a week from today, again, we'll start the day below freezing. A good chance we'll see low 50s if that's right with those thickness values. Hey, Christmas fans, come on now. Let's take a look. Uh, this is uh, December 23rd, Christmas Eve Eve. Model suggesting showers in here and a whopper 1,054 millibar high over Wyoming. Here's Christmas Eve. Nice troughing through the eastern U.S. And down below that, again, uh, the batch of showers exiting the state. If this happens to be correct, it looks like we'd have rain right before Christmas. And then on December 26th, very cold air moves in here. And look at the anomalies for the 26. Boy, that's cold. So, again, if this is right, the GFS is really trying to talk to us here. This is not on every operational run, but it is from time to time. It's suggesting maybe a big Arctic shot about the time we get to Christmas. Uh, maybe, just maybe, the coldest Christmas since uh, 1989. Remember that year? If this is right, and that's a big if, but the pattern seems to favor that. We're getting decent model consistency out here, so 
Just something to watch. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.